You know, last night I um, I showed a chart to you that we got from the Federal Reserve in St. Louis, and it is it should take your breath away, but I don't think most people understand what it really means. It means how much money we're printing at the Federal Reserve. How many how many dollars are we actually pumping into the system for this crisis? So I I thought about it last night after watching it with my family for I don't know three or four times. Come on, Aaron. Um, and I watched it with my family, and they said, I, Dad, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? So I thought, uh, there's another way that I could show this to you. There's another way that at least Al Gore did it with a slideshow, and now everybody thinks that that's true. So why don't we show you some true stuff uh, on the slideshow? And actually, because, you know, we're a 5 o'clock show, we're cheap. We had to go borrow Sean Hannity's set, so we're going into Sean's. Shh. We'll be very, very quiet. We'll come in here and... This is, this is a chart that I tried to show you last night, but I wanted to blow it up a little bit. This is billions of dollars. This is how much money do we print and have in the system at any given time. Let me start at 1929. Show me the, here we go, 1929, here's the stock market crash, all right? Now, if you see, we just, we were on the gold standard, so we couldn't print much more money. We had the stock market crash, but we didn't do all of the stuff that we're doing now, just printing money. Go ahead, step to the next thing. Then we go up to 1941. That's the Great Depression. Still haven't pumped a lot of money into the system, because again, on the gold standard, then we have World War II, and we take this all the way to 1965. You'll see it comes up. We had two wars. We had World War II, and we also had the Korean War. In 1965, we were having the Vietnam War, but here's where it gets sticky. Because we had all these wars, and we tried to dogpile on with the Great, uh, the great Society. Well, how are we going to pay for all that? Well, 1971, Richard Nixon says, why don't we get rid of the gold standard? So that way, we can just print whatever we want. But we promise the rest of the world, oh, no. We'll never print too much, really. We're good for it. I mean, look at our record here. We don't do that. Great society kicks in, and look what happens. Next point, please. Look how we've devalued our money. This is up until 2000 when we have the Y2K scare, where everybody's like, bury your food and grab your cash. The computers are going down. That's why the government put this little spike here. If you see that little spike, it goes up because they just dump a lot of cash into it, and then they bring it back in. They pull it back in, but it's difficult to pull things back in, especially when you have a horrible event like 9-11. Next stop is 9-11. You'll see it's just a little spike back up, just a little bit. Remember how everybody was freaked out that the world was coming to an end? Do your patriotic duty. Go spend. Go out there and, and get into the stock market. Well, we did. And then this is the kind of spending we get. As you see here, the federal bailout's just about to begin. We're in, let me get into my Al Gore machine. Oh, it's a real inconvenient truth now, isn't it, Al? Look at this hockey stick. This is the hockey stick that Al Gore was talking about with the, you know, the woolly mammoth coming back or whatever the hell he's talking about. Here's where we were in September last year. But then the Treasury decided we need to start printing more money. This hockey sh stick should take your breath away. This is devaluing our money. You know, Al Gore said... Global warming is not a political issue, it's a moral one. Thomas Jefferson said, doing this to our children is immoral. And I agree with him. We have pumped all of this money in and devalued our money. How is it not going to be worthless? This has never, ever been done by anybody ever before. Please, share this video with everybody you know, all your friends. Please go to foxnews.com slash Glenn Beck. We're going to make this available for you. Pass it on to your friends. This is real trouble. Not in a thousand years. Perhaps in the next year. Back in a